Hey everyone, welcome to a new round of my multiplayer server. In this video I will show you everything that was built in round 27. Now, uh, this, uh, this round had a bit of a different shape as you may be able to see. Uh, here all the plots are next to each other instead of on a big uh, square of land. And you may notice this uh, long wall. So basically the story of this round was that uh, in, that Trump really wanted to build the wall and he couldn't get the funds for it. So he decided to uh, hire some uh, theme park uh, managers to create theme parks for the Mexicans in order to uh, let them pay for the wall. So yeah, basically everybody had to build a piece of the border wall with uh, with an attraction park in front to uh, to make money. Anyway, we had uh, 13 completed uh, plots in the end. Um, some players didn't have time to finish. One player uh, had an accident. And here's another unfinished one. Anyway, uh, we have 13 finished plots, so let's go on to number 13. Okay, in 13th place we have this uh, plot made by uh, Specky YT. Well, he's quite uh, still quite new to decorating. Uh, he got quite a low score because, uh, yeah, the stuff that's there is quite uh, sparse. But I don't, I don't think it's uh, looking too bad. Uh, I don't really think the scenery here makes sense. So yeah, with some more decorations, he probably easily could have gotten a, a higher score, maybe a little roller coaster or something. Okay, in 12th place we have this plot made by uh, Ricardo Bordo. Well, for 12th place with 5.75, he already got quite a high score. Um, so yeah, he made this uh, really uh, this area with dry grass, and here's uh, Escobar's uh, warehouse. I think that's quite funny. There's a crooked house uh, inside there. There, apparently, there's a little Juan's maze here. Uh, it's a maze right here. Oh, I guess he uh, covered the or he hid the maze. Oh, that's pretty cool. There's a maze hidden under this uh, under this high grass. I think that's a really a really cool trick. Oh, there's some gallows here, and he also. Uh, what I really like about this plot is how he made this wall, also with uh, monster trucks driving uh, on top of them. That's pretty cool. And the US side of the border is quite uh, simple. But of course there's the US flags here. Nothing here, <laughs> move along. <laughs> That's quite funny. Okay, here in 11th place we have this plot made by uh, Sheeple. Let me quickly turn on uh, cutaway field because it is quite crowded here. So yeah, basically the story was uh, that Trump hired both uh, Six Flags and Cedar Fair to uh, build a park next to the wall on the Mexican side, but uh, yeah, he forgot that they have quite some competition going on between them. So they actually built a wall in between them to separate them. And then basically they both built their own little park. <laughs> But yeah, I think that story was uh, was quite funny. And I think there was an Amazon uh, fulfillment center here in the back. But it looks quite empty. But yeah, I think uh, what got this plot uh, the nice scores was the story. It was quite uh, quite funny. I like the entrances he made for the for the for the little parks. Okay, in tenth place we have this uh, plot made by uh, Nick Badlick. Well, of course, what you immediately uh, see here is this big uh, Trump artwork. I really love the way that looks. And also there's a really cool uh, coaster going behind it with some nice uh, with some nice custom supports. Well, of course, made with uh, with normal scenery. But that's uh, th that looks really good. But yeah, I wish uh, more of the plot uh, looked this good because everything on this side looks uh, looks a bit bare plot is called prison land and it is uh, I have to say it is quite gray and the stuff that's on it is quite uh, simple let's quickly take a look inside so yeah, in here are some more uh, <laughs> some more rides I can see a maze here 
so the entrance of the coaster that goes around uh, the back and there's also a wild mouse uh, coaster here that he managed to uh, to cram in here so yeah the I think it uh, looks a bit bare, but I love the Trump uh, pixel art that he made in the back. Okay, in ninth place we have this uh, plot made by Burp. <laughs> well, for most of the rounds it uh, only consisted of this uh, coaster. But in the last few hours uh, Burp uh, put everything else here in the plot. Well, what I really like is these uh, buildings uh, here in front. They look really nice. I love this station and uh, also this this building here is also uh, really cool. But yeah, these uh, buildings on the US side, uh, I think they're quite horrible. But yeah, Bur probably uh, knows that. But yeah, a uh, good score for the stuff that's uh, in front here, I guess. But I also like the name of the coaster. So yeah, instead of Eurofighter, it's called uh, a merry fighter. <laughs> That's uh, pretty funny. Okay, in eighth place we have this plot made by Yolo Swaglord. Let me quickly uh, turn on cutaway view again. There we go. So yeah, what Im what you can immediately see about this uh, plot, what immediately uh, draws attention, is of course this uh, orange man behind the wall. I think that's uh, that's pretty funny. He uh, already had this uh, from the. He already built it immediately in the beginning. And also, something I really li like about this plot is these uh, custom supports he made for this uh, coaster over here. But yeah, other than that, uh, I think the colors are quite bland. And I think the plot is really missing an, uh, an attention seeker. A really uh, a spotlight of the, of the plot. But yeah, I really liked the orange man, and of course this uh, coaster here, what's the coaster called? Wall peeker. <laughs> so yeah, the people riding it uh, get to peek over the wall a bit. But of course they don't get to cross it. Also what I like is uh, the name of this little park, Border Wall Fundlandia. <laughs> that's, that's quite funny. Alright, let's go check uh, what the next plot looks like. Okay, in seventh place we have this plot made by uh, Mekit. This was actually one of my favorite plots of the round, and I'm sad it only got uh, seventh place. But yeah, I'm not the only one uh, people have to uh, impress. So yeah, Mekit made this really cool uh, looking uh, Mexican uh, town. What I really like is these uh, cars uh, driving around. They go in this uh, in this little uh, shed over here. <laughs> Definitely not a smuggling ops, it's called. <laughs> so yeah, these cars actually drive uh, through the border gates here. <laughs> and here they, uh, I think they deliver their, uh, their totally not smuggled goods to the to the contact. <laughs> so yeah, I love all the little details on this uh, plot. It's really cool. Some nice parked cars here, and also the. Uh, the entertainers here were all given uh, funny names. This is the big capo walking around on top of his uh, building overwatching his uh, smuggling ops. Here's a fried ice cream uh, stall. So yeah, also this uh, this water tower looks it's really good, really uh, nice looking. It's made by using uh, river rapids pieces. But yeah, overall great details and I'm sad it uh, didn't score higher. So yeah, great work, uh, Mekit. This is definitely one of my favorite plots of the round. Alright, then we go to the plot that was in 6th place. This uh, plot was uh, made by me. It's called uh, Peso uh, Funland. Well, <laughs> I actually made most of this uh, right before the deadline. So yeah, I didn't put too much uh, effort in it. And I think it shows in some, in some places where it doesn't really look uh, finished. But yeah, I think overall it uh, it does look uh, quite good. So yeah, most of this uh, floor consists of the flying saucer track. I made this uh, coaster that goes around uh, the plot that I'm quite uh, fond of. It's called El Lupo. So it gets launched from the station right under here, goes through this loop. Then it uh, 
pops up above the floor a few times before it returns to the station. I put some other rides here, uh, right between the uh, right between the floors. For example, there's this uh, top spin here tucked in uh, in the floor. I quite like uh, how this worked out. Of course, there's Ferris wheel and a uh, launched freefall tower, and lots of uh, shops and stalls, of course, to bring in those nice uh, pesos. And this is what most people liked about the plot. So yeah, in the back you will find these uh, these uh, pipes called money pipes, and they all go to these uh, cash machines. So yeah, all the money gets to, that people pay here <laughs> goes to the back here uh, to these cash machines for the customs uh, guards to collect. So yeah, that was uh, what most people found uh, funny about my plot. I also think this uh, worked nice. But yeah, got 6th uh, place and I'm quite happy with that uh, considering uh, I mostly built this in the last uh, 2 hours of the round. Okay, then in 5th place we have this uh, plot made by uh, Spons. Spons always makes uh, great stuff in, this, in these rounds and this is no exception. So yeah, he made a mall right on the, on the border. So here you can actually see the Rio Grande, that's what it says here on the sign. On the US side, he uh, made this, uh, he just did this awesome uh, landscaping. And it, this mall is uh, also full of rides, full of, uh, it's a motion simulator, space rings, it's a twist, lots of uh, shops and stalls. But yeah, I really like how this mall looks, it's really uh, pleasant to look at. And also all the other rides have, uh, have cool names, one of the dead. <laughs> Dead or Alive, The Band, Ride, Fuertas, Y Fuertas. And also these uh, these cars have uh, really funny names. This Jad's Compensation. <laughs> this is Tourist Furnace, Volvo 240. Tio Juan's Rusty Pickup Truck. <laughs> but yeah, if you want to uh, see all the names for yourself, uh, if you're a member on my Discord, you can uh, download this map yourself to uh, take a closer look at all of the stuff that's built in this map. Okay, then in fourth place we have this plot made by uh, Hank the Super Nerd. Well, Hank the Super Nerd also always builds uh, really great stuff. And again, this round is no exception. <laughs> so yeah, he, uh, just to start off, <laughs> he put this... Uh, characters from the Goliath text here, spelling hola, <laughs> I think that's a funny touch. And he made this uh, taco uh, taco building, also shaped like a huge uh, taco, <laughs> I think that's uh, really cool. And other than that, there's this uh, monster truck ride going around the plot, and it even has a loop here. It's probably chain lifts uh, helping the cars uh, make it through the loop at a reasonable speed. And of course, there's also this uh, sombrero on top of the loop. That's really, uh, really cool. And they even make a little jump here at the end. <laughs> no, he also uh, decorated the wall quite uh, nicely. So all these uh, cannons in front. <laughs> I guess uh, no Mexicans will try to uh, get close to here. If they value their lives. Now, what I really like here is all the... All the foliage on the plot looks uh, looks really nice together with these buildings. And also on the US side, there's also this uh, lovely building. So with uh, this is just a villa with a car in front. And also uh, a building here. <laughs> so yeah, really nice, uh, really nice work. It's not a miracle it got uh, such a high score. All right, then we get to the top three. In third place, we have this plot made by Swag Tiddies. So yeah, he made these uh, these two uh, coasters that look the same. This one's called True Mexican Heritage. This one's a New American Dream. I think the story was something like that: uh, Mexicans would uh, enter here, and first it would be uh, still. Uh, loyal to Mexico, but as they uh, would reach further to here, they would get brainwashed along the wall or along the way until here they would finally <laughs> emerge uh, 
completely uh, brainwashed to uh, like the to the United States. But yeah, this plot got uh, third place. What I love most about uh, this plot is the yeah this the combination of these buildings together with the foliage. It just looks uh, looks awesome. And also the story of this plot is, uh, is quite cool. But yeah, I really love the way he did these fences uh, in combination with these plants. Everything here just looks so nicely. It's just so uh, so nicely done. So yeah, great work uh, Swag Diddies, and I hope to see more from you in the future. Alright, then there's two uh, plots remaining. And something funny happened in this round, because we got a tie for first place. <laughs> Which was caused by the by the last vote. So I will just uh, f first show this one from uh, Popsicle Penguin. Let me quickly use a cutaway view here. So yeah, this is just an amazing uh, building. There's this uh, vertical drop coaster here, which goes uh, inside the building and pops out a few times. There's even another coaster here with the Mexican colors. <laughs> called Partido <laughs> and there's even a, a ride that uh, launched Freefall Tower that starts on the ground and then goes up here a few times called a Tunneler <laughs> so yeah I guess the Mexicans found a way to tunnel under the wall oops <laughs> oh and then I uh, let me get back to cut cutaway view <laughs> alright but yeah this uh, is a well-deserved first place. Everything here just looks uh, so good. And I guess uh, Popsicle Penguin is on a winning streak here. Because uh, the last round was also won by Popsicle Penguin. So yeah, <laughs> it's all, again also the Ola text here. I don't know who put it there first. If it was... Uh, who made it? I think Hank the Super Nerd. Yeah, if, I don't know who put the text first, Hank the Super Nerd or... Uh, Popsicle Penguin, but uh, it is uh, quite fun. But yeah, really great work. Uh, I love it. So, let's uh, then move to the other plot that also got first place. And that's this plot, which is hard to miss. And it's huge. It's a huge plot. <laughs> a huge plot like you've never seen before. <laughs> so yeah, it's... Uh, these walls are all shaped like uh, like burgers, the Trump burger wall. <laughs> I think that's really cool. And wow, Wizard uh, IRL made this plot, and uh, he really outdid himself. This is just uh, awesome. So hey, there's a coaster here in the, in front. It's called uh, Space Force uh, testing. It's also a uh, roto drop Space Force reentry. And there are several uh, elevators. Uh, you can actually look inside the tower here. It's a museum here with uh, dinosaurs. There's even a Wild West uh, part here. And these these uh, elevators take the guests up to the to the top floor. Let me use uh, cutaway view. Uh, yeah. Uh, this doesn't really help, <laughs> to be honest. But yeah, on the top floor there's this uh, mini golf, and there's also this. <laughs> it's hard to uh, go to the right spot when uh, things are so high up. But yeah, there's this lovely garden on top with the uh, mini golf, and of course there's this pixel art here in front with the uh, Trump character <laughs> standing on a on a burger. But yeah, damn, this is uh, this is an awesome plot. This was my favorite of the round, and uh, I think many people uh, agree with that, because it got the first place in this round. But yeah, I think this was a really fun round. It was uh, a bit different than the rounds we had before, but uh, yeah, many people just made uh, really awesome plots. And I hope to see a lot more from, uh, from these people. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I will see you again in the next one. See you later.